stunning concept vehicles are just about everywhere you look here at Geneva. But they don't get much more outrageous than this, the Renault Zoe. It's a three-seat roadster that, thanks to its versatile suspension, can also take you off-road. It's made from aluminium and hidden under the back is a new 2-litre 16-valve direct injection petrol engine, which should ensure fantastic performance. Inside the Zoe, the driver sits in the centre with two passengers on either side, very similar to that of the McLaren F1. Like the original Renault Spider, it doesn't have a windscreen, so it's goggles at the ready if this car makes it into production. On a more sensible note, Renault are showing the new Clio, which is probably just as well, because I can't quite picture Nicole behind the wheel of the Zoe. Patrick, you've um, just overseen the redesign of yep. Clio, and it's sold I think, something like 3.8 million Clios have That's been made. Right. That's an enormous number, yes. and it's obviously very successful. So why change it? Well, because, you know, in fact, uh, after so many years, seven years, uh, a lot of things have happened on the, in the field of, uh, of safety. And today, I think that it's almost impossible to carry over platforms in, in, uh, on, on a second generation. Likewise, it is impossible to maintain a car for, let's say, 15 years, as might have been the case a few years ago. Just the, the, the uh, changes that have taken place in our knowledge on safety, we just cannot afford not to bring it out. Uh, into a new generation of cars. So that's the reason why we changed. It says a lot for the original Clio that it, I can't believe it's seven years. It still, was still looking very yeah. fresh. Yeah. It's always been billed as the small car with big car refinement. Is Clio 2 the same? Well, it's very much, very much uh, in, in the tradition, I would say. Uh, uh, what, we, what I can say about the Clio 2 is that uh, uh, contrary to, let's say, a car which is not marketed in England, the, the Twingo, where we had a a, uh, a blank sheet of paper there with the Clio, Clio 2, or the, the current uh, new Clio, uh, we had such a, a success with the first one that we were clearly very influenced on what to do for the new one. And um, that's one of the things that we've, we've maintained on the Clio 2. And in fact, what we've done is offer a little more of everything. So it's uh, even more than before. I think um, when new car, when small cars uh, are yeah. redeveloped, they always seem to be, become bigger <laughs> somehow. There's always more room, and I, I believe Clio yeah. 2 is bigger, isn't it, yeah. than its predecessor? Fact, that's, that's, that's true. It is uh, slightly bigger. Uh, namely, uh, it has a little more headroom at the front and also at the rear. It is a, a couple of centimetres longer in overall length, and that has been only due to um, safety, the, namely the crash zone has been slightly increased in order to for it to become as performing as, as, as it is. What engines are in the range? Are there new engines as well? Well, I'm not a great expert on, uh, on engines, but what I can tell you is I went out uh, to try uh, the car in the Caribbean this weekend. So oh. I can <laughs> and the one that I particularly like is the, is the new engine, the new 16-valve uh, engine, which is, uh, has a tremendous elasticity in, in the bottom end, uh, and it's the sort of car that you can drive and basically, whereas on another you might have to change gear, there you can, you can accelerate uh, in, uh, in, in fifth gear uh, at a very low speed. And that's something which I really appreciate with modern, modern engines. And, the, and that's, the, I think, the best engine that we've done for so many years. It's the K4M, that's right. We look forward very much yeah, to driving it. Enjoy. One other vehicle that you've um, shown for the first time yeah. here at Geneva is Zoe which it looks amazing. Have you been involved in that? Well, the concept cars are um, basically, it's my, my recreation, you know. I, uh, <laughs> I work hard and I have to have my, my moments of, uh, of recreation. And uh, it is true, I'm always very, very involved with the, with the concept cars. Uh, I use them, in, in fact, to communicate with the press, to the public, and also directly to the public to uh, try out new ideas, be it in terms of materials, be it in terms of uh, uh, formal language. So I'm not sure whether Zoe is destined to have such an impact that we are actually going to mass, uh, mass produce it, but there is always something that will remain. Um, it is as 19, uh, um, 1998 is a uh, uh, centenary celebration for Renault. We have two concept cars which we're going to show this year. This is the first one. It's, um, it will be followed in Paris with a, a very significant concept car, which will have a major influence on two vehicles that we are going to launch. 
the one that we show today is more playful. Uh, it's the work of a small group of young designers that uh, uh, I put on this team, and it's it's the world of techno music and and Japanese mangas. It's it's their taste, and uh, it's a little bit mine as well. <laughs> so where where have the influences come from? Because it, it almost looks insect-like, doesn't it? With the wheels out on the end, they look like legs. Well, we we. Um, we had this idea, and we've had the idea for quite some, some time, to design a vehicle which uh, uh, was a cross between a, a sporty vehicle, a sports car, and a, uh, a four-wheel drive off-road vehicle. And we designed the, sh the chassis, uh, uh, or rather we modified the chassis of, uh, of the Spider. We uh, adapted a new type of uh, suspension. And then when it came to uh, design the, the, the body, uh, it so happened that um, uh, we, uh, we were um, leafing through some uh, beautiful art book that we had uh, received and we looked at this wonderful photograph of a beetle. And not, not the Volkswagen beetle, but uh, a real insect. And um, we, we sketched around that and uh, it, this is how in fact we came to this, these fenders that look a little bit like, 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 like uh, wings. And the whole shape is very, very close to an insect. Well, we hope it's not as, um, you know, that it's not going to scare people off. But uh, it's, it's, I think it's quite a friendly. And we've given it a, a very bright color to make sure that uh, people don't associate it with creepies and crawlies. You say that it's based, uh, to a degree, on the spider. So does that mean that if people's reactions is positive enough, it wouldn't be that difficult to put this vehicle into production? Correct. Uh, the whole uh, concept is, is feasible as such. Uh, the, the vehicle, in fact, runs. Uh, it's, um, it's got a, a very good perfor performance uh, as, a, as an off-roader. Uh, the basic chassis is uh, uh, conceptually identical. Uh, it's slightly longer, which is, of course does not present any kind of problem uh, because the wheelbase is, is, is longer due to the fact that we have three seats. Uh, there is nothing on that car which, uh, which is inf infeasible.